Writing Toward Everywhere, by William T. Gavallman, A Journey Through Freedom. William T. Vollman's essay, Writing Toward Everywhere, is a poignant exploration of the concept of freedom, intertwined with a reflection on the experiences of train hopping, a subculture of individuals who ride freight trains as a way of life. In this literary analysis, we delve into the themes, style, and symbolism employed by Vollman to convey his unique perspective on freedom. At its core, Riding Toward Everywhere grapples with the idea of freedom as a powerful but elusive concept. Volman's personal experiences of train hopping become a metaphor for this elusive freedom. He writes, Perhaps I was trying to be a hobo because I wanted to ride toward everywhere at once. This statement encapsulates the central theme of the essay, the pursuit of freedom through an unpredictable, nomadic lifestyle. Volman's longing for an unrestricted existence is a yearning shared by many, and it resonates throughout the narrative. The essay's narrative style is marked by vivid descriptions and a sense of immediacy. Volman invites the reader to embark on this journey with him, providing sensory details that allow us to experience the world of train hopping firsthand. His prose is both evocative and contemplative as he describes the haunting lullaby of the cars, the beautiful geometry of a train yard, and the vagrant symphonies of the tracks. Through these descriptions, Volman not only conveys the physical aspects of train hopping but also the emotional and spiritual dimensions of the experience. One of the essay's most striking features is its use of symbolism. The trains themselves become potent symbols of freedom and escape. Volman describes the trains as snakes of deliverance and dragons of democracy, highlighting their transformative power. Riding a train is not just a means of transportation, it is a way to break free from the constraints of society. The trains represent a journey toward an uncertain but tantalizing future, embodying the essence of freedom itself. Volman also employs religious imagery to explore the idea of freedom. He describes the train yards as cathedrals of steel and silence and the boxcars as tabernacles of darkness. These religious metaphors emphasize the sanctity and reverence with which train hoppers regard their way of life. In doing so, Volman elevates the act of train hopping to a spiritual experience, further underscoring the theme of freedom as a deeply personal and transcendent pursuit. The essay is not without its moments of introspection and self doubt. Volman acknowledges the risks and challenges of train hopping, including encounters with law enforcement, physical hardships, and the constant threat of danger. This self-awareness adds depth to his portrayal of freedom, as he grapples with the consequences and sacrifices that come with the pursuit of an unconventional lifestyle. It is a reminder that freedom, while alluring, is not without its costs. Volman's encounters with fellow train hoppers provide a glimpse into the diverse community that exists within this subculture. He introduces us to characters like Deacon Jim and Charles Manson, individuals who have chosen this way of life for various reasons. These characters serve as a microcosm of society, each with their own motivations and stories. Through their interactions, Volman highlights the complexity of human nature and the different paths people take in their quest for freedom. The essay's structure is deliberately non-linear, mirroring the unpredictability of train hopping itself. Volman weaves together anecdotes, reflections, and historical context to create a mosaic of experiences. This non-traditional structure allows the reader to engage with the narrative on a deeper level, as we piece together the fragments of Volman's journey and the broader themes of freedom and escape. In conclusion, writing toward everywhere, by William T. Volman is a thought-provoking exploration of freedom through the lens of train hopping. Volman's narrative style, rich symbolism, 
and intimate reflections invite readers to contemplate the nature of freedom and the lengths to which individuals will go to attain it. The essay challenges us to consider the allure and complexities of a life lived on the margins of society, where the pursuit of freedom takes on a mythic and deeply personal significance. Ultimately, Bowman's work reminds us that freedom is a journey, and like the trains he rides, it is both elusive and boundless, always beckoning us to ride toward everywhere.